Today I'm going to show you how to make this tool for weaving that will make your weaving faster and easier. I use this plastic canvas that's for cross stitching, a cutting mat, and a craft knife. The length of this tool will be the same width as your loom, so that it'll go in between the sides of the loom. On the plastic canvas, what I did was cut out some long slits and some short slits, alternating each one. Here I have another one that I started. And you can see I have a long slit and now a short slit. So I'm going to do the long slit on the next um, column. And I'm just going to cut to the right of one of the vertical lines. And then I'm going to also cut right next to it to the left of one of the vertical lines and it'll take out the center pieces there and make a slit. And I would go all the way down for this long slit and then make just a short slit out of only three of the squares. Then when I'm done cutting those out, I added some dowels to the top and bottom and I just hot glued them onto the canvas. And this keeps it nice and sturdy. Now I have these two needles here, a tapestry needle on the left and then a long one on the right, which I usually use for weaving. But today I'm going to use the bobbin that I made on the left, which is just from foam board that I cut some notches on the top and bottom. Now I'm going to add this yellow string onto the bobbin. And what you will do with the string is make a figure eight onto the bobbin and once you get some on one side then you will flip it over and do some on the other side as well. Next I'm going to show you how to put the string onto your loom using this tool. So first make a knot on the bottom then I'm going to be using this tapestry needle here and I'm going to go through one of the long slits first and I'm going to pull the string all the way through and then I'm going to get onto one of the nails on the top and then I'm going to go through the next slit which is going to be a short slit and pull that all the way through. You don't have to worry about pulling it too tight yet we will tighten everything at the end for now you will just alternate between going through a long slit and a short slit. So when I go upwards it will be a long slit like this. Pull it through and then hook it onto one of the top nails. And then go through a short slit. Once you are down to the end of your string, we're going to need to tighten everything. And what you can do is every other strand you're going to pull and just hold on to one while you pull the next one. And you're just going to go through each one until you get to the right side. You can see here that I have to pull a lot to get these nice and tight. And then once I get that, um, I'm going to tie it down onto the next nail. Now once your tool is in place, if you push it downwards, you'll get half of the strands and if you pull it upwards you'll get the other half of the strands. So I'm going to show you how to do this with some yellow yarn using the bobbin that I used earlier. So the first one I'm doing here I put it in while the tool is pushed down and now if I pull up 
it will be the opposite strands and when I put in the bobbin I can pull it down a little bit to check if it's the right direction and then pull it through. Now I'm going to pull the yarn down but I don't want to pull too tight. I'm going to make an arc and then push down with the four. And before I pulled up, so now I'm going to push down and then put the bobbin in through the left side. Each time I put the yarn through, I'm going to make an arc and then push it down with the fork. This will make sure that everything keeps loose. If it's too tight, then the sides will start going inwards and you won't have straight edges. While doing this, I'm going to make sure that I pull upwards when I'm going in from the right and then to push downwards when I'm going in from the left. When you're done with your weaving project, you will need to take the tool off the blue strands, so you'll have to cut on the top here and then pull the yarn through the tool. For more videos like this, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, and you can follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching!